In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how we can create this paint dress effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Dhruvan here back with another video and as you can see this is the final output and this is the original image. We will also take help from this PNG file of this paint splash. Now both of these images are from daventart.com and if you want to use them the download link is in video description so feel free to use it. Now let's focus on the original image. So I'm selecting my quick selection tool as you can see so that we can make selection of her. Uh, we need to cut her out from the background. So I'm gonna make a quick selection of her and as you can see we are right now on minus so we have to be on plus because we wanna add selection. So make sure your plus icon is selected and I will make a selection of her. In the hand it doesn't have to be accurate just try to select the outside area properly uh, and that should do the trick. So let's zoom out and focus on here and let's make the selection of this part uh, as you can see. Uh, don't worry about the area in between the fingers just make sure that outside area has been selected properly. So that looks really nice selection and about this uh, I will just select it until let's say here uh, it doesn't have to be too much yeah that, that that's more than enough we need because this portion will get covered by paint so we don't need it selection is uh, ready oh sorry we forgot on the hair so let's make selection of that too so the basic selection is ready and now all we have to do is take care of this inner part so I will switch from my quick selection tool to here I will right click and you can select this magnetic lasso tool and since we need to remove the selection from certain areas I will select this third option so let's go and I'm gonna make a quick selection here it's a magnetic lasso tool so uh, beginners can also follow it really easily all you have to do is just make a couple of points and the tool will take care of it uh, everything itself so when you are at the end like this just double click and we are good to go and same way I will remove selection from this fingers so as you can see the basic selection is ready and all we have to do is apply a layer mask so as you can see there is this third icon here I will click on that and it will apply a layer mask and the background is gone and we have this really nice selection of this lady now uh, first thing I want to do is move her a little bit in center so we can focus on her better uh, so that looks really nice now it's time to create the background so to create a background I will go here in my adjustment layer option and I will select a solid color and in the solid color instead of this black color I have this code uh, it's D1 D1 and D1 so it's not a big deal like just select some grayish tone that suits your taste and hit ok. Now I will put it under my model so we have this really nice gray background. Now to make this background a little bit more interesting I will apply a gradient. So double click on your background layer like this. Uh, go and select a gradient overlay and make sure that before you apply your gradient uh, uh, use this step. Uh, make sure that your foreground and background colors are black and white. Then I will in my gradient options I will go and make sure I have foreground to transparent option hit ok. Uh, I will change style from linear to radial and I will reverse it so we have darkness on the outside. And then I will make my opacity to all the way 150% and change this opacity of this uh, gradient to let's say something around 50%. So it looks more like natural and it fades in really nice. And I will also change in the angle a little bit so we have this white portion more uh, so that looks nice and now I'm gonna go and hit ok. So as you can see the background already looks really nice uh, and it's time to bring in the paint splash. So I'm gonna go here so this is the file I'm gonna press ctrl A to select it ctrl C to copy I will come back here and then I will paste it uh, by pressing ctrl V. Uh, the box will appear don't worry about it just simply hit ok uh, and as you can see the paint splash is already here. So let's start adjusting the splash so it looks like uh, it's part of her dress. So I'm gonna put this layer 1 on top of my model because the splash is going on top of her dress. Then we have to make this uh, splash a bit smaller so I'm gonna press ctrl T 
I will hold down my shift key and I will make it slightly smaller so we don't lose the proportion and let's put it here now it's uh, a bit bigger but don't worry about that I'm gonna right click and first of all let's flip it vertically so it's down uh, something like that and I want this two portion to be on this side so I'm gonna press uh, sorry I'm gonna right click and I will select this time horizontally so now the splash is completely flipped uh, and it looks really nice matches properly with the dress uh, so as you can see the dress is here and it's slightly bigger so I'm gonna again make it smaller and as you can see I keep holding down my shift key whenever I make it smaller so uh, I don't without shift key it goes like this which is not cool uh, so hold down shift key and then make it smaller uh, so we are almost close and that looks nice uh, okay that's great now as you can see the edges will not sorry my PC is a bit slow uh, so as you can see the edges don't match properly but you can do that right click and select warp uh, and then you have this uh, corners here which you can use actually uh, to make your dress uh, sorry uh, splash bend uh, it's not making it smaller it's just simply bending it and you can also do it from this part too uh, as you can see uh, so it is a really good tool it gives you a lot of freedom uh, to start with and as you can see I can uh, bend it from any angle uh, it is really nice tool so let me zoom out a little bit uh, and as you can see it's it has started looking good but the splash is still quite big so I will take my time and I will adjust it a little bit by using the same steps So as you can see now I have adjusted the paint splash and it looks nice but we have this unwanted part of the dress so to get rid of that uh, as you can see we have this layer mask that we applied so in this layer mask select your layer uh, sorry brush tool and whenever you paint with black color as you can see with 100% opacity it will remove things so this way you can remove the uh, dress and if you make a mistake and you want to bring something back all you have to do is just go and switch to white color and then you can bring that part back so it's easy as that so I'm gonna remove the unwanted part of the dress and you have to paint in the layer mask not on the image but on the layer mask so let's remove it from here and let's say we have something here no we don't so this looks uh, really nice maybe a little bit of portion of dress no that's fine so now it's time to make the paint splash really smoother so it looks like like it is blending with the dress uh, so select your layer one and just like the dress we will apply a layer mask and now we will use black color to remove the unnecessary area so i'm gonna make my brush slightly bigger uh, so we have even softer transition and then i will start painting here like that so as you can see now it looks like the color is coming out of dress uh, which is uh, looking really really nice and whenever you are near the edges take your time and be careful because these are the parts that will reveal that the blending is nice or not uh, i am doing a tutorial so i can't spend too much time on this uh, but you can take your time and be sure that it looks really nice So as you can see I adjusted things here and there and now transition looks really good. Now it's time to create the splash behind her. So to do that I will simply select my original splash. I will press Ctrl J. So I will make a copy of it and for right now delete layer mask from this. So I'm gonna right click on layer mask and I will go and delete it. Then I will press Ctrl T. Right click and then I will select flip vertically. So let's put it here and then I will go and flip it horizontally so it's on completely opposite side uh, and that looks pretty cool so let's go and put it here and I know you must be thinking that it looks like it's been copy pasted but we can manipulate it a little bit uh, so let's go and confirm it first so first thing we wanna put it behind her to do that uh, you have to uh, first of all apply a layer mask again uh, and then hold down your control key and click on this model mask here as you can see here uh, control click on it so it will make a selection of her and now we have selected the second uh, splash mask as you can see here and I have selected my brush tool with black color 
now i will go in and remove it from the areas where there's the model is uh, and let's go and remove it from here too uh, and then also i will remove it from here from these portions so it looks like it is much more smoother uh, and exactly behind her and then when you are done with it uh, let's go remove it from here too uh, go to select and then go to deselect so as you can see now the splash is behind her uh, which looks much better and uh, I don't want this uh, like this is way too crazy so I'm gonna go and simply remove this portion too uh, because it just doesn't work very well for my taste uh, and from wherever whenever you are like near this kind of parts uh, I would suggest that you make your brush really tiny uh, take your time and remove things really really nicely uh, so as you can see that looks nice and the another thing that I did was like uh, as you can see this looks like way too similar to this one uh, so now I'm gonna go and select my pen tool now if you don't know how to use pen tool you can go and select magnetic lasso tool it is also works really nice uh, but for me pen tool is the best uh, so let's go and make a selection of this portion uh, like that I will press ctrl enter to make selection uh, and also remove this part too uh, with black color and let's go and remove that uh, and then go to select and then go to deselect uh, so now it looks much more uh, sorry much less repetitive and a bit more creative now there is another really cool thing you can do uh, select your uh, this mask sorry image from here not the layer mask but the actual image thumbnail uh, go to your edit and then there you have this option called puppet wrap as you can see that looks really cool now in the puppet wrap you can actually go and put in points uh, anywhere you want so that point will become a joint and now i can simply just uh, click it and see now i can like bend it any way i want and that looks flipping amazing like seriously that's the coolest thing you can do uh, so as you can see now i'm gonna bend it even more so it looks like completely different splash and then i'm gonna go and do the same thing here then go and confirm this thing so as you can see it completely changed and it looks really really nice so as you can see we have finished one of the most difficult part of the tutorial and which was to match the splash with the dress so this turned out to be really decent for a tutorial now it's time to adjust the colors and the highlights of this uh, splash so it looks like that it is exactly part of the dress to do that first of all i'm gonna hold down my control key and select both of these layers uh, the splash layers and then i will press ctrl g so they both are under the same group and it's really easy to manage that way then i will go and create a new adjustment layer and select hue saturation and in the hue saturation i will first of all go and put the values minus five uh, let's say here it was uh, two uh, and here it was one so you might be wondering how I got this just go and you know play with the slider uh, and uh, like uh, change it until you get the exact color you need so mine was I think minus five or six both worked really nice and also as you can see when I change the color it is also affecting the other image so for that go and click on this clipping mask option so now if I change anything here it will only affect the group under it as you can see it's really handy uh, only thing that will change it's the group so as you can see my minus 6 uh, is looking really good uh, so let's go and close on that one now we need to add a little bit of brightness in the splash because the image is a bit brighter in comparison so I will go and create new adjustment layer and then I will select brightness and contrast and there first of all let's go and clip it so it will only affect the splash and then I will go and add like plus 50 amount uh, so that looks really nice so let's turn it on and off yeah see now it's, it has started to match really good and now it's time to add another adjustment layer uh, from here and then I will select my color balance and also I'm gonna clip this one too let's come here and clip this thing so only affects the dress and then I will add a little bit of red in this one uh, so that looks really nice uh, and also I will go and add a little bit of magenta because it balances out things really good uh, and let's go and add a little bit of blue not too much okay don't overkill it so that looks really nice 
now let's go to the shadows and there I will add a little bit of cyan not too much uh, and a touch green uh, maybe two three percent okay four also looks nice and now let's go to the highlights so there I will add a little bit of a cyan uh, a little bit of magenta and a little bit of a blue so all you have to do is just play with the slider until you get the right color that you need uh, so let's look at it uh, yeah it looks very minor change but it works out really nice in the overall effect now it's time to add the final adjustment layer that we will be using to match the color of the this splash so go and create a new adjustment layer and select hue saturation and there as always clip it from here and then I will decrease the lightness a little bit uh, so that looks nice like 9% also good so let's go and close it but here's the thing this portion is brighter so let's go and make my brush a little bit bigger and I have this black color here so using my black color I will remove that uh, effect from this part and now if I turn it on and off only this portion is darker because this portion of the dress is darker so let's turn it on and off and as you can see now it looks much better so the splash looks really nice with the dress and now it's time to adjust the overall image uh, so I'm gonna go and create new adjustment layer and go and select my selective colors this time do not clip it because I want overall image to get affected so I will go and first of all add a little bit of reds uh, because they look really nice the red dress is really beautiful then I will go and add a little bit of a magenta not too much and then I will go and add a little bit of a blues uh, because they somehow looked really nice for this like the color of dress she has uh, it worked out really good and then in the blacks I will go and remove them a little bit uh, so that the dress looks uh, doesn't look way too contrasty uh, so I think number was minus three so that looks nice and then let's go and close it see it makes like a really good difference now it's time to make the entire image overall a bit bright because I think colors are slightly looking dull so go and create new adjustment layer select brightness uh, and add a little bit of brightness not too much uh, just make sure it looks natural so I think uh, 4 uh, should do the trick uh, so let's go and turn it on and off yeah 4 looks really good then create another adjustment layer and go and select vibrance and for the vibrance I will go and add a little bit of vibrance uh, so it might look like it does nothing but let me turn it on and off so you can see uh, as you can see now it makes the dress look a bit more punchier uh, which the, which is the look I need so the basic uh, color correction and the splash matching everything is done now it's time to decorate the image to do that first of all let's add some uh, sharp lines behind her so uh, let me show you what I'm trying to say so go and create a new blank layer from here uh, select your marquee tool rectangular and make a rectangle whatever size shape doesn't matter so this is look, looking really nice uh, go and select your white color and select your paint bucket and fill in the box then I will go to select and deselect it now as you can see uh, this is a really sharp box so I'm gonna go and select my eraser tool from here and make sure that my hardness is 0% I will make my brush really bigger uh, like this big and I'm using my bracket keys to make it uh, bigger and smaller then I will go and start erasing it make sure just look at me like how uh, I'm not erasing the edge of it only just a little bit part of it uh, so like it is actually erase it entirely just don't erase the edge uh, so as you can see like this erase it from the distance look see how my eraser is far away from the actual uh, edge uh, so now if I turn it on and off we have a really nice edge there and now I have to put it behind my model so I'm gonna put it under her exactly here then I will press ctrl T uh, so that I can rotate it from here uh, like that and make it slightly smaller so it, it is not way too distracting instead it looks part of it and really nice uh, just like that and go and confirm it now we have to make several copies of it so I'm gonna press ctrl J so that will make a copy of it select my move tool and put it on top of a little bit here another time press ctrl J make a copy of it and another copy of it a just like that now these are too many shapes so I'm gonna go and select all of them use my control key hold it and select all of this and then I will press ctrl G 
so all of them are in a different group so now advantage is that i can decrease the opacity and blend them better in the background so now they look really really nice you can also make it smaller uh, a little bit so that they look even good and then go and confirm it now it's time to add some random shapes in the background so to do that i will go and select my shape tool from here uh, right click and select uh, make sure you have this custom shape tool and in the shape tool you have this a lot of shapes now if you don't have them go here and there you have option for all and then you can activate all of these shapes okay uh, so let's go and here we have this uh, option for confetti So as you can see we have this option of confetti here uh, so select this and then i will just go and directly draw my shape something like that and then hold your shift key okay make sure you have holding yeah you are holding your shift key and then uh, draw the confetti however you want then i will put it a little bit here maybe rotate it a couple of times maybe it has to look good okay it has to match the uh, image and then go and confirm it now the color of confetti is way too strong for me so i'm gonna go and change its blending mode to soft light and then i will change the opacity to 40 uh, percent so now if you look at it it, lo it mo looks more like it is filling up the background sorry <laughs> wrong image uh, here so as you can see now it's filling up the background and these shapes are pretty annoying but as you can see it, it looks nice so let's go and increase the opacity a little bit more so we can see it more clearly yeah now it looks much much better we are almost done now it's time to add a little bit of bling blings so <laughs> what i'm trying to say uh, is create a new blank layer from here uh, select your brush tool and in the brush tool go to this little icon here and there you have option for this assorted brushes so go and click on that and when it says hit ok or append whatever option you prefer hit ok uh, so I'm gonna go and select this bling bling brush <laughs> so this 50% 50 number here so that looks nice and then uh, all you have to do is just go and simply make a click so now right now the brush is really small so let's make it a bit bigger so let's go and click here so that's way too big uh, now it's perfect go and do a couple of random clicks here and there uh, and then go one here here stuff like that wherever you want it, it doesn't have to be accurate you can put it here if it looks nice to you so it all looks nice and now i'm gonna take a couple of minutes and adjust the opacity and the position of the layers So this is the final output and before closing the tutorial I would like to give you some important tips especially for this tut uh, tutorial and this effect. So first thing you will not always have to use the same adjustment layers. Uh, mine was uh, like this splash was already red the moment I started working on it. Your might be green, blue, whatever the splash you use maybe. So the numbers and things will be completely different. And the same goes with this overall adjustment maybe some people don't like this color some people prefer this color i prefer this so you can skip some step or maybe add a couple of yours uh, this bling bling thingy if you don't like that or you like that uh, try using different brushes as you can see you have this really really cool maybe this snowflake brush that looks really dope so you can try any of that and also in the shape layer i used this confetti shape because i wanted something random but there are a lot of shapes as you can see the uh, as you can see like there are just a lot so try using different ones and about the transition of the dress uh, i would admit it's not the best i have done uh, in the original file it's much better but it's a tutorial and now you know how you can do it so all I will say is take your time and make sure like do trial and errors and make it like the smoothest transition you have ever done. 
so i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button so i can know and if you have any kind of questions that i think you will probably have after watching this video so feel free to ask me in the comment section below and if you want to check out more of my tutorials effects you can click on any of these boxes plus you can subscribe to my channel so every time i upload a new video you will get the update plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my youtube channel where i have more than 85 free photoshop tutorials just waiting for you so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop